I am at Brick Fair, Virginia, one of the biggest LEGO conventions on the East Coast US, and we are going to check out the mocks. I'm here with my friend, Girl Bricks a lot. Actually, I'm Barbie. I'm so sorry. Barbie. I can. Hi, Barbie. So, this is the LEGO Museum of History by Salad Bricks. And basically, what he's got going on here is all of these lit up modules that show various themes from LEGO's awesome historic history. This is just really a super impressive mock, and it actually has a module built by my friend Cool Guy Dom O2. So I spotted this one from across the hall. There is a lot of colors going on in this forest, but this is the Battle of Telesar. And ah, man, look at this. I'm not really sure what this is referencing, if this is like an original build or something. Y'all can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I really appreciate the use of foliage colors here. And we're leaving some goodies for the builder to show our appreciation. Big Mechanite's Castle by Nix Bricks. This is an incredibly striking warship and incredible collection of minifigures and this wall by Jason Miller. I, I can't even describe the scope of this build, but like Barbie, if you had to guess how many minifigures were in this mock, what would your estimate be? 2,000. I'm gonna say you're probably right on track. There are at least 2,000 minifigs. There is of course a presence of New Hashima as always, one of my most favorite mocks, but my friend Daniel Double King Bricks built this new tower, which uses dimensions pieces and the old watch boxes from the late 90s watches. So impressive, as always. From across the hall, we spotted an incredible business kitty cosplay. This mecha is called Coffee Break by Megan Kerr, and it was nominated for Best Mecha. I love it. I love the use of the Friends mini doll and the colors. So nice. The Brick Wiz brought his Top Gun Maverick ship here. This is awesome. Look at that. Check out this Middle Earth Elves build by Spartan Bricks. Another really nice part usage there with that helmet as the rock. That's Spartan Bricks. Just an ordinary castle build with Kermit the Frog. There's the builder. So this is another fantasy build by one of my favorite builders, Mbrix52. I really love the use of lime green, the magenta, and that, I believe, is a Star Wars helmet used as a rock that is an incredible nice part usage. He has also built this Autumn Cottage, which has been one of my favorite builds for years. This is really inspirational to me, just because of the use of color and the way that he has created a really beautiful, cozy world that I, I honestly could just jump into and live here in this cottage. So this is another one of the nominees for Best Star Wars Mock. This is Jabba's Palace. And there he is down there about to be dropped to his doom. That is the Rancor door raised now. Can he come out? Luke has gotten himself into some serious Bantha Poodoo. Just the level of detail in this mock is incredible. The minifigures alone make this so impressive. And we even have Boba Fett up here. So here's a look at my mocks. The Barbie Dream House, which is nominated for Best Lighted Mock and the Enchanted Forest, which has a lot of lighting kits worked in throughout. This is actually one of my favorite details over here. The Lonely Traveler with her squirrel friend. So this is my display over at the Brick Talk table. So this is one of my competitors for Best Lighted Mock. The Cemetery by Bricks and Chaos, and I love how much spooky Halloween details she's worked in here. And she also built this Witch's Cottage, which has a lot of neon pieces which are glowing under the blacklight. Day two. I'm so excited to see once again the Great Friss Reef by my friend Ob the Builder. She has so many nice part usages going on here and it's moving. We got legs for coral, all of the heads. I mean, Aubrey is just really passionate about working in all of these incredible colors. I know this won an award at Atlanta BrickCon and it really deserves all the praise it can get. This is the collab that won the best space. It is this incredible big scale rock monster sculpture holding a space police ship. I mean, look at that. They've got it lit up. They've got this olive green going on along and then all this water and look at this tree technique. And this is the real centerpiece here, this big Blacktron base. This is just such a striking build and it definitely deserved to win best space. It's the winner of the Bricky for best castle slash knights. Castle on the Shore by mbrix 52 I voted for this. This is incredible. Honestly, I love the techniques being used here. The color choices, really, really inspiring. mbrix has been one of my favorite builders for a while, and 
He has just brought all kinds of builds of his here to display. So unfortunately, the Dream House did not win the award for best lighted mock, but I did get all of these nice little tokens from the community, and everybody who's come by has really shown a lot of love. Also for this and the Enchanted Forest. So, you know, it's not always about winning, but getting a nice community reaction is really what this is all about. And for that reason, I'm really happy with this con and how this turned out. So here are just some of the other builds that were displayed at the Brick Talk table. This is Brad's port by Bricking Up Brad. And then over here we have Cannon Cove by Ben Wilkins. Cool Guy Dom, of course, brought his Swag Yoda and some of his mech and avatar builds. And then Doodle Bricks displayed with us some of his incredible sculptures. Epic Bricks brought his ice cream ship. And then we got Swole Bricks over here. And then, of course, Will the Bricker and Luca Lego also displayed with us this year. This is our content creator habitat stack with a lot of Lego creators building their little Lego rooms. Ben the Brick Builder also brought some other of his builds, like his Tudor, and then this Duchess's Crow ship, which actually won the award for best airship at Brick World Chicago 2023. Well deserved, in my opinion. Well, public hours are just about over, and these mocks are about to come down. So that's going to do it for us. Um, why did we change? What do you mean? We didn't change. I don't see change. Change? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh look, it's for Bricks and Giggles. <laughs>